And the murder trial for a woman accused of killing her police officer boyfriend is underway in Boston. Officer John O'Keefe was found dead in a fellow police officer's yard in the snow two years ago. Police say Karen Reed ran him over and left him there to die. Reed's defense says she's being framed in a cover-up meant to protect a group of well-connected people. More witnesses set to take the stand today. Joining me now, a blogger and independent journalist who has been covering the story from the beginning, Aidan Kearney, also known as Turtle Boy. Aidan, you have published more than 300 articles on Reed's case. Your YouTube channel gets millions of views. This is one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you. You've been invested in this story from the beginning. Tell us how you did your, uh, you first learned of Reed's story and why you chose to get so involved. I first learned of the Reed story when I heard about a woman doing a Google search, a woman named Jennifer McCabe doing a Google search at 227 for how long to die in cold when she believed that John O'Keefe was allegedly back at home sleeping. I then did a deep dive and, and read all the court filings, uh, particularly Alan Jackson's 92-page uh, affidavit filed in April of 2023, uh, and couldn't believe what I was reading. Uh, normally, I'm pretty skeptical of conspiracies and, and cover-ups and whatnot. But the evidence in this was undeniable. I've never seen anything like it. It was a huge story. I honestly thought it would be one story and done, that the charges would be dropped against Karen Reed because the evidence is overwhelming that she's being framed. Uh, but the district attorney's office just kind of put their foot on the gas pedal and doubled down. And, and ever since then, uh, we, we've uncovered more and more corruption to cover up in this case. And as you continue to dig, you ended up facing charges yourself, including witness intimidation. And you've gone, uh, uh, you've even gone to jail to keep your sources and confidence secret. What's the deal behind that? Yeah, that's correct. So in Massachusetts, they've uh, attempted to call old school journalism witness intimidation. Now, I've gone up to several of the quote unquote witnesses in this case who the evidence shows were actually should be suspects in this case because they were involved in the murder of John O'Keefe. And I've asked them questions. For instance, I went up to Jennifer McCabe and I asked her, why did you Google how long to die in cold at 227 in the morning? I called Michael Proctor and I left a voicemail for him. And I asked him why he didn't disclose that he is good friends with the homeowners uh, whose lawn John O'Keefe's body was found on. And they called that witness intimidation. You're apparently not allowed to ask questions to witnesses in a murder case, even when evidence shows that they are clearly involved uh, in a cover-up. So they've basically, I mean, the First Amendment is on is under attack here in Massachusetts with this witness intimidation statute. I was charged with, I, I don't even know, 16 felonies. I've lost count. There's a whole lot of felonies they've charged me with for journalism. Uh, and they uh, revoked my bail on December 26th, and I went to jail for 60 days. I've never been convicted of a crime, and I did 60 days in jail. And uh, you're right, I could have gotten out whenever I wanted in jail by taking a plea, but I, I refused to because uh, the First Amendment matters, and Karen Reed is 100% factually innocent, and this is something I'm willing to, uh, you know, not give up on. Aiden, I don't want to run out of time before I ask you two things that just really just pop out at me immediately. What has been the response from her family, who I assume also believe in her innocence? And what are the three takeaways you want people at home to know as they continue to follow the story along with you? Well, Karen Reed's family uh, has been supportive of her. Uh, and, you know, I've had contact with them here and there. They're, they seem like a really nice uh, family. Uh, three takeaways that you can uh, take away from this is that, uh, number one, uh, Karen Reed is 100% innocent. Number two, the FBI is doing a is investigating the investigators. Uh, the Michael Proctor is under internal affairs investigation. That never happens, where the FBI investigates the state police in a murder investigation. And so we're probably going to see indictments uh, down the line. And number three, uh, the First Amendment is under attack in the state of Massachusetts because of this unconstitutional witness intimidation statute, which is being weaponized by the, the you know those who hold power in order to silence a, an award-winning journalist for simply asking questions. Aiden Kearney, Turtle Boy, I want to tell you that we here definitely believe that uh, truth in journalism is the best disinfectant. Continue success with your investigation there and let us know how it turns out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.